Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna share with you some secret codes on the Fire TV Stick. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna talk about remote codes. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. It doesn't matter which model Fire Stick you have, you can do these codes, and they're all done with your Fire Stick remote. You're gonna love this. Stay tuned. All right, let's get right into it. So the first hidden key combination on your remote that everybody needs to know is how to adjust the display resolution. Now you can do this through settings by going through and you have to go all the way up here, go all the way over to settings, and then you're gonna go down here to displays and sounds, and then you're gonna go to display, and then you're gonna do all these things to try to get it just right. Well, there's a way to do it and actually see what you're currently running and how to run it how you want to run it. So the key code you're gonna do is simply press and hold the up navigation and the rewind on the Fire Stick for 10 seconds and the display will show the current resolution. The Fire Stick will also cycle between all available resolutions and you can set a resolution of your choice depending on your TV to get the most out of it by selecting, by pressing the select button on the remote. So let's see what we're running on this TV right now. So we're going to go ahead and do it again. It's the up navigation rewind at the same time for 10 seconds and let's see what happens. And there you go. Current resolution is 720 at 60 hertz. So we're going to try another resolution right now. It just cycles through them. So we're going to go ahead and keep going until we get maybe a better one here. We want to get something a little better than that. We can cycle through it manually or we can just let it go. I'm going to go ahead and use this one 1080p. I'm perfectly okay with that. Just as a little bit better than the previous one. You can go all the way up to 4K if you have 4K TV, which is really nice. It just cycles through them. It's quick. It's an easy way to get the most out of the quality of your Fire Stick. All right, so let's talk about the second one, how to reset your remote for your Fire Stick. So why would you do something like this? Well, I use multiple Fire Sticks myself. One of the most annoying things is that you can't use the same remote on multiple devices. But instead of, again, navigating over here to settings and then going through and pairing it and then pairing it with a new device, it's just a lot to do. There's an easier way to do it. So you're gonna use this code right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold the back button plus the menu, plus the left navigation for about 15 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so now I went ahead and unpaired it. And you can tell it's unpaired by when you press the button up, down, left, right, there's an orange blinking light in the upper right-hand corner of your remote. So that means you've unpaired it to that one. If you have two TVs too close together, you won't be able to move your remote from one to the other. And I have two TVs in the same room here in my office. So that's one of the reasons I do two different colors on my Fire Stick remotes. But let's say you want to go ahead and you want to connect the Fire Stick to the remote. All you need to do is press and hold the select button for 10 seconds. It should pop right up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, it's gonna say we could not. And then it goes ahead and it went ahead and connected there. As you can see now, I have complete control. Don't know why that other message comes up there, but it pops up first and then it will connect. So uh, I think it's probably because I unpaired it initially. So the second one was how to reset your Fire Stick remote. And then the third one is how to connect your Fire Stick remote. And these are both done with remote key codes. And the next one's gonna be how to restart your Fire Stick. So the fourth one is how to restart your Fire Stick. And I've actually covered this in another video. It's a really cool code to use because you wanna restart your Fire Stick every once in a while. A lot of times these Fire Sticks just get bogged down and start to slow down. And a fresh restart, an actual hard restart, is all you need to get it back. So in order to do that, all you need to do is press the select button and the play button for 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And there you go, your Fire TV Stick 4K is now powering off. So we'll go ahead and go through the restart process. And once it restarts, it does take a few minutes, but once it restarts, it runs so much better. I do it all the time. I make sure to always restart my Fire Stick at least once every couple days. And if you're not doing that, you may notice your Fire Stick start to slow down. So let's try to avoid that and use this remote code. All right, so as this restarts, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the next one here. So the fifth one on the list is opening the system 
menu. Now this is something I do all the time. It's so frustrating to have to go through all these steps to be able to get to certain settings, to be able to get to your apps, to be able to get to all kinds of things like that when you can actually do it by simply pressing down the home button. It's called a long press. So basically hit the little home button here for just three or four seconds and it will pop up this menu right here. And this is where you can switch between profiles. You can see all of your apps. You can put it to sleep, which you should definitely do every time you're done. It doesn't use your resources that way. You can also screen mirror, which is nice. So if you have a computer, if you have a phone, a tablet, something you wanna mirror onto your screen, you can do it right here, really easy to do. And then you have access to all of your settings right here. And then just press the back button to get out of it. It's a great menu to do. It is, again, the long press of the home button. And that's how you get to your system menu, super easy. So the final one I'm gonna talk about, and it's one I'm not going to do here right now. And the reason why is because it is the absolute full factory reset of your fire stick i have too many apps on here that i have subscriptions to i like sterling right here i just don't want to lose it so i'm not going to do that but i am going to tell you how to do it so if for some reason your fire stick is completely frozen you're ready to throw it into trash you're done with it you can't deal with it anymore you want to you just want to get rid of it well there's a way to bring it back to brand new factory or if you want to sell your fire stick to somebody else this is also a great way to bring it back to factory it'll erase everything so it'll erase all the apps you put on here all all your personal information, everything, it'll go back to factory setting. A lot of people do this when they sell their old fire sticks on uh, eBay or Amazon, places like that, other marketplaces or locally. They always want all of their credit card information, account information off, and you can do that here. So if you're having issues where your fire stick might be looping or stuck on the logo screen, or you just can't do anything with it, sometimes it just takes a fresh start over from the beginning kind of a deal. So. To, to do this on your Fire Stick, what you're gonna need to do is press and hold the back button and the right navigation key at the same time for 10 seconds. Once you've done that, keep holding it down until it pops up on your screen that says setting to factory. So this will be a factory reset. Pretty much any time that you call Amazon and ask for support, this is what they tell you to do. They don't care what apps you have on here. They don't care what subscriptions you have on here. They want to just get you off the phone and help you, and this is what they tell you to do. So it is a fix-all for problems you might be having, but I don't recommend doing it if you have special apps that you don't want to get rid of. Maybe there's some other things we can do. But if you are ready to throw it in the trash, you're done with it, or it's been sitting in your drawer and you thought it wasn't working anymore, you can do this and it'll be back to normal. So there you go. You got to let me know what you think think about this video down in the comment section right down below this video. I want to know what you think. I think it's awesome. And if you guys have any questions or you want to know more about content like this, make sure you do subscribe and comment right down below the video. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did do us a favor, just hit that thumbs up right down below this video. Share this video with those that you think would like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of videos on this channel just like this. So make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.